Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What is up, all you super fly fish keeping fucking dollars? You watching Aquaphone with me, Jay the Freak, and I got okay. So listen here, I consider a lot of you my friends. Um, I know personal stuff about you, even you, and you guys know some personal stuff about me. I can see you friends, and with my real life friend, like when I say real life, I'm talking about the ones I could, you know, touch and smack around and stuff. Um, we 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 do this thing, you know. I, I was I. I grew up in a very teen, you know, uh, teen alpha male environment, you know, whether it be the football, you know, the kid, you know, the cool kids in high school, the, you know, the army, infantry, or just, you know, smoking and joking on the block. And one of the things we always do as friends is we crack jokes on each other. And that's what I want to do today. I want to crack jokes, but not on you. I want to crack jokes on your fish. Um, so I put a list together of my top six. I even threw in an honorable mention of the six most ugliest fish commonly kept in everybody's aquarium today. 99% uh, of all you out there have either one to three of these fish in your aquarium or aquariums. So I want you to know it is only in fun. I'm only joking with you. I'm happy for you and your fish, however ugly it may be. Um, so. Um, my number six ugliest fish that I think people, now these are the things I think that people keep in your aquarium is the flower horn. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God. Jay, I can't believe you talk about the flower horn. Um, well yeah, I am. I'm talking about your flower horn. Um, it's now the people who keep flower horns to me are the same types of people who think that, um, you know, hairless animals are cute. <laughs> like, uh, they, they got the okay. I will admit they have the it's so ugly, it's cute factor going on, and some of them do not look as unfortunate. But there are some flower horns out there. You flower horn people have to admit that it's just too much. That bulbous head is just too much sometimes. The wrinkles around their necks is just too much at sometimes. And I noticed some flower horns can't close their mouth, so they just constantly like. And I guess that's the ultimate thing with the flower horn. It's just, you know, that's the whole thing. It's, you know, over the top. But sometimes it's way over the top. So, um, flower horn, you are so ugly that when you go into a haunted house, you come out with a job. <laughs> number five. Number five is definitely the blood parrot signature. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with the body or the coloration. It's that grill, the face part of it. Specifically, the mouth. What is up with that mouth, man? That's just, I think, mean, look, looking at the blood parrot on a side angle, you think to yourself, okay, that's a weird kind of shaped head. But when you look at it straight on, <laughs> it's just weird looking. Um, I, I'm not, a, I, I don't know. I know some of you guys love some blood parrots, but uh, <laughs> you ugly blood parrot. In fact, you are so ugly that when you was born, the doctors tinted your window, the windows on your incubator. <laughs> Number four is the, the dragon. The dragonfish, the dragon eel. Now, I don't see these that often in the pet trade. I used to see them all the time. I still see them every once in a while, and people still have them in their tanks. Um, but do I really need to get into it? Dragonfish, you so ugly. You can scare blind people. Whoa. Number tray. The giant garam. The giant garam to me is like Frankenstein fish, like. Okay, like I just went over two other fish, but those were um, engineered to look that way. The giant garami does not seem to have any part of it that makes sense to me. It's, it's like I said, it's like a Frankenstein of the fish. Um, the body shape isn't very streamlined, so you got to wonder why is the body shape like that. Usually there's a reason why fish look the way they do, and I cannot figure this one out. Um, 
but for me, it's the itty bitty little eyes. He got this huge body, and his itty bitty little eyes, and the jaw kind of protrudes. Like, honestly, if a fish, if they were to make like the Swimming Dead, like the zombie apocalypse fish, this would probably be the face of the fish. Yes, giant garami. Ugh. Giant garami, you are so ugly that you got to trick or treat over the phone. <laughs> Number two, definitely got to be the alligator guard. The alligator guard face. It looks like, like it, at one point, it was a regular looking fish, but and then it, its face got ran over by like a truck tire, and it, its, its mouth squished out all cartoon style and everything, and it, it just stood that way. It's ugly. Like, it's just ugly. So, alligator guard. You so ugly. When you was born, the doctor smacked your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so before I get to my number one ugliest fish people keep in the aquarium, I need to bring up an honorable mention. Now this fish, I was trying to place it in the category, but the problem is this fish, there's multiple types of them. And some of them are butt ugly, and some of them are cute. And the ones that are butt ugly, there's different types of butt ugly. So for me, it's the fancy goldfish. <laughs> the, the celestial eye, the bubble eye. And I keep forgetting the name of this cauliflower face one right here. But that's an ugly fish. I, I, look, I know a lot of y'all, like, like I said, hairless pets. I ain't got no joke on that. All right, everybody, this is time you've been waiting for. My number one ugliest fish that people keep in the hobby. And if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you already know what it is. That's right, the male bristlenose plecker. Look, I know I'm going to hit a lot of nerves with that one, and the flower one, and the parrotfish, and the goldfish. But, listen, the reason why you're probably thinking, oh, there's uglier fish in your list than the plecker? Yeah, probably, but here's the thing with the plecker. There's two reasons why it's the ugliest fish in the hobby, and that is not only that the front of it is got those tentacles on it, the male version of those plecos got those tentacles on it, it's the stuff in nightmares, if the predator had a pet fish, it would be that, but not only is it ugly that way, but it's ugly bah, that way, when it's sucked on your, the front of your glass, you gotta stare at it just, and it's a very, you gotta admit, look, there's, when you first got these things, it was sucking on the front of your glass, you had to tell yourself, hmm, I wish he would go to the back of the class. He looks a lot better that way. Um, not to mention, have you ever had somebody come over to your house, a guest come over to your house as your pleco is just plopped right on front of your glass, sucking away on the tank, and there's an like awkward moment where you don't want to say nothing, they don't want to say nothing, but y'all thinking it. But you know what I'm talking about, grown folk. Yeah, male bristle nose plecos is my number one ugliest fish that people keep in a hobby because you get a twofer with that one. Not only is it ugly on the top, but it's ugly on the bottom. The male bristle nose plecko, you are so ugly. <laughs> you gotta sneak up on a mirror. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, that's my time. And like always, take care of yourself, take care of your family, <laughs> take care of your ugly, ugly bitch.